Hello friends, uh, today we are going to see some basic definitions and concepts of testing from software point of view. So we are going to cover all these points like what is testing, who does testing, when to start testing, when to stop testing, difference between verification and validation. Uh, this is a very good question from uh, interview point of uh, interview point of view. Okay. Uh, the next question is difference between testing quality assurance and quality control then difference between audit and inspection difference between testing and debugging okay so we will see the basic definition of all these points let's start with what is testing uh, testing is the process of evaluating a system or its components with the intent or intention to find that whether it satisfies the specified requirements or not. This activity results in the actual expected and difference between their results. In simple words, testing is executing a system in order to identify any gaps, errors or missing requirements in contrary to the actual desire or requirements. Or we can say if we want a proper definition for testing, testing is a process of analyzing a software item to detect the differences between existing and required conditions and to evaluate the features of the software item. So this is testing. Okay, next question. What does testing? Oh, sorry, who does testing? It depends on the process uh, and the associated stakeholders of the projects. Friends, uh, stakeholders uh, can be the project leads, the managers okay, of the projects. In the IT industry, large companies have a team with responsibilities to evaluate the developed software in the context of the given requirements. Moreover, developers also conduct testing which is called unit testing. In most cases, uh, the professionals are involved in testing of a system within their respective capacities. Okay, so there are software testers, software developers, project managers and leads and users. Friends, different companies have different uh, designations for people who test the softwares on the basis of their experience and knowledge such as software tester, software quality assurance engineer and QA analyst etc. It is not possible to test the software at any time during its cycle. The next two um, sections state when testing should be started and when to end testing during the SDLC that is software development life cycle. Okay, uh, when to start testing? An early start to testing reduces the cost, time to rework and error free software that is delivered to the client. However, uh, in software development life cycle, testing can be started from the requirements gathering phase and last till the deployment of the software. However, it also depends on the de development model that is being used. For example, in waterfall model, formal testing is conducted in the testing phase. But in incremental model, testing is performed at the end of every increment or iteration and uh, at the end, the whole application is tested. Friends, uh, I have used the words like waterfall model and incremental model. Do not worry about it. We will cover that in our next tutorial. tutorial. Okay, the testing is done in different forms at every phase of SDLC, software development life cycle. Like during requirement gathering phase, the analysis and verifications of requirements are also considered testing. Reviewing the design in the design phase, the intent to improve the design is also considered as testing. Testing uh, performed by a developer on completion of the code is also categorized as unit type of testing which is again also done by the developer okay let's talk about when to stop testing 
unlike when to start testing it is difficult to determine when to stop testing as testing is a never ending process and no one can say that any software is 100% tested for uh, okay uh, so uh, i'll just uh, tell you the aspects which should be considered to stop the testing um testing deadlines completion of test case execution completion of functional and code coverage to a certain point bug rate falls below a certain level and no high priority bugs are identified management decision okay so these are uh, the few points which we can consider to stop the testing okay third question difference between verification and validation friends this is a very important question people get confused between verification and valid validation a lot because we use this terms interchangeably okay so let's see what exactly exactly uh, the difference between them verification what is verification verification is what you are actually uh, or you can say uh, it's a kind of question that like are you building it right okay are you building anything or are you building um the system or the software right whereas validation is kind of question are you building the right thing are you building the right software okay verification again takes places first okay before validation and includes the checking for documentations codes etc whereas validation uh, comes after verification and mainly involves the checking of the overall product okay verification is checking of the documents codes and few things whereas validation checks the overall product verification ensures that the software system meets all the functionality whereas validation ensures that functionalities meet the intended behavior verification uh, friends uh, are done by developers and validation is done by testers okay verification have a static activities uh, like uh, getting reviews walk throughs and inspection to verify that software is correct or not whereas validation uh, have dynamic activities as it includes executing the software against the requirements okay so this is um, a little bit difference between the verification and validation uh, and this is enough from the interview point of view and let's see what is the difference between testing uh, quality assurance and quality control most people are confused with the concepts and the difference between quality assurance quality control and testing although uh, they are interrelated and at some level they can be considered at the as the same activities but there is indeed a difference between them okay so let uh, me explain what is the difference uh, if we talk about quality assurance first quality assurance uh, involves the activities which ensure the implementation of processes procedures and standards in context to verification of developed software in intended requirements okay uh, whereas uh, quality control uh, involves uh, the activities which ensure the verification of developed software with respect to documented requirements and if we talk about testing activities um uh, act, uh testing uh, involves the activities which ensures the identification of bugs error defects in the software quality assurance focuses on processes and procedures rather than conducting actual testing on the system okay quality control focuses on actual testing by executing software with intent to identify bug defect through implementation of procedures and process whereas testing what testing is focuses only on actual testing okay okay um and uh, there is one more difference like um, 
quality assurance is a process oriented activity quality control is a product oriented activity and then the testing is also again product oriented activity okay we don't need to know much and more than this okay uh, let's jump to the next question and it's difference between audit and inspection now what is audit okay audit and inspection are again two different things audit is a systematic process to determine how the actual testing process is conducted within an organization or a team generally it is an independent examination of processes which are involved during the testing of software okay and in a simple way uh, if i want to describe it um, audit is what it is a review of documented processes where the organization implements and follows the processes or not okay types of uh, audit uh, includes the legal compliance audit internal audit and system audit friends do not worry with all these words you do not need to go in depth of all these words okay just for your knowledge there are types of um, audit like legal compliance audit internal audit and system audit okay uh, inspection uh, inspection is a formal technique which involves the formal or informal technical reviews of an artifact by identifying any error or gap inspection includes the formal as well as informal technical reviews okay uh, i'll try to explain in simple words like inspection is a formal evaluation technique in which software requirements design or code are examined in detail by a person or group other than the author to detect faults violations of development uh, standards and other problems all right so this is it about audit and inspection and uh, a last question difference between testing and debugging again testing we know as i have explained earlier it involves the identification of bug error defect in the software without correcting it okay it only identifies okay normally professionals with a quality assurance background are involved in the identification of bugs testing is performed in the testing phase what is debugging it involves identifying isolating and fixing the problems or bug developers who code the software conduct debugging upon upon encountering an error in the code debugging is the part of white box or unit test, testing which is again done by the developer debugging can be performed in the development phase while conducting unit testing or in phases uh, while fixing the reported bugs so guys this is it thank you thank you for watching the videos and you can ask if you have any questions and doubt on this thank you